Hey everybody, thanks for joining. I'm going to go through an overview of what's in my beauty counter bag. So today I'm just going to go through what makeup I'm currently wearing. I think that it's so hard to know just from looking at the pictures what something's going to look like on. So I wanted to take you through this makeup look today and this is just an everyday look for me um, when I'm going to work and um, hanging out on the weekend. So. When I start off with my skin routine, I start off with the Dew Skin, and this is a tinted moisturizer. It actually won Allure's Best of Beauty, and I love this one. So I use number one, and I put this on because I love that it has SPF in it. So it has SPF 20, and it goes on just like any tinted moisturizer um, that you might be familiar with. It is super creamy melts right into your skin and gives a really natural look and it actually smells really good too kind of like cake which is interesting um the next thing that i put on because i do like a little bit more coverage especially um in my t-zone i have some uneven skin so i like to then go and put on tint skin now i use tint skin in linen and what I love is that it does give me a little bit more coverage, but it does go on like a tinted moisturizer. So really smooth and even, and it melts right into the skin and it gives a really natural look. It's not cakey, um, it doesn't flake or anything like that. So I love this. If I'm running short on time, I just throw this on. Um, but especially in the summer months, I love to layer the dew skin under the tint skin. So I get that SPF as well. Then for my concealer, I use this um, Touch Up Skin Concealer. I love this. I have the lightest version and um, it is not only pretty, it looks really similar to the YSL brand um, except for safer and they don't test on animals, which is awesome. So um, I love this. It comes from the top and you open this up and it has the brush that you're able to dab on um, under eye circles. I have really bad under eye circles, so I love to use this as my touch up. The next thing that I use is bronzer. I'm really fair skinned, so I need a little bit of color, and I use the number two. And let me show you how dark this is. So um, it is darker, and there is a number one as well. What um, I would compare this to, if you're familiar with the NARS bronzers, I used to use Laguna before I found um, the Beauty Counter products. And you'll notice that I show this to you one more time. Um, so you'll notice the color. So it's really similar to the Laguna color, but it doesn't have that shimmer in it, which I really like. Um, I wasn't too big of a fan of having shimmer all over my face, so I really love that this one is the same color, looks really natural, isn't orange or clay-like, and um, it doesn't have that shimmer in it. Now the next thing for my face that I'll use is blush. So for my blush, I use Bloom in Tulip, and that's what I have on today. And this is really similar to the NARS Orgasm um, color. Again, it doesn't have the shimmer in it, which I like. I, it's definitely not something that I miss. And it is um, a really beautiful color and looks really natural and I just sweep that across my cheeks. Now, going up to my eyes. So I use two different eyeshadows. One is um, the combination of pearl and champagne. So the pearl and champagne, I really like because the pearl acts like a highlighter and I sweep this all over my eye and then I'll put the champagne, if I want more of just a lighter eye, then I'll put this in the crease or what I'll do is um, put this in the corner of my eye and um, you can use the pearl also as a highlighter above your brows and then also above your cheekbone here um, to give you some of that highlight. And then um, the other color set that I use is the Fawn in Night. What I love about this is you can make it darker by using the night more often for a smoky eye. And the Fawn is what I have in the crease of my eye right now. And um, what I'll use the night for is right now Beauty Counter doesn't have eyeliners. It's actually a really good story. They did have them. Um, 
and I'll tell you that later, it's too long to share here, but it just lets you know what a great company they are and how much they believe in their products of being safe and transparent of giving you the best products. So um, what I will use though um, for the night I'll just take an angled brush and then right along the bottom I'll sweep it through and I use that to go over my eyeliner to make it really natural and then also to set it and I have used that angled brush with a little bit of water and then I just take it right down into the corner so it doesn't affect um, when you need to use this as eyeshadow. But just take it down here, just a damp angled brush, and you can actually use this as eyeshadow. It goes on really dark, and um, I love how much pigment is in it, where you don't have to layer it so many times. It actually comes out very dark, um, so you don't have to worry about getting too light of a gray, basically, if you really want that smoky eye. Now, the next thing that I use for um, my eyes is, of course, the mascara which I had zipped up in here so they um, have just come out with their lengthening mascara and I love this the only complaint I heard about it was it stayed on um, the eye so much that it was hard to get off at night which I don't think is too much of a complaint um, but I love what it does for my eyelashes and lengthening I have really sensitive eyes so when I would go and put on um, other brands of mascara, it would actually make my eyes water and really irritated. This doesn't do that at all and I love that it doesn't flake off in the middle of the day and it keeps my eye um, lashes looking long and it doesn't clump together. You can build upon it so it's really buildable and you don't have to worry about getting tarantula eyelashes. Now moving down to my lips right now, I have on um, Actually, it's kind of a dual product. So this is our cream blusher, and it is in the color Hibiscus, and let me show you what this looks like. So it's a really pretty pink color, and I'm using that as lipstick right now. You can also use this as a blush, and I do a lot. Um, what I love is if I'm running behind and I need to save any time I can, I'll put this on as my blush, and then also put it on as a lipstick and it melts right into your skin, looks really natural just for a little bit of a flush. And then it's great lipstick, it's really creamy and moisturizing. So it's a great dual purpose if you're looking for something that can be really versatile for you. I highly recommend um, the cream blusher. It comes in two other different shades, but I'm a huge fan of this hibiscus shade. So that constitutes of my face right now in the makeup that I'm wearing and I will be sharing more videos later with different looks and then different ways um, to wear makeup for eyeshadows and different events if you're going to the beach um, or headed out for the night. Thank you so much and if you have any questions, just let me know.